Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'll be reviewing Daniel Garcia Masterclass Day 1. Before we do that, can you please like, subscribe and check out CardMagicCourse.com. That is my Card Magic Course where you will learn from me. So if you like this show, you will love that course as most people do. And I only say most people because not everybody's on the course, not as in most of the people that are on the course like it. I mean, they all do, the ones that are on it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a ramble, wasn't it? Have a look at it anyway, will you? And if you want a, a, um, a free course on the spread call, an extensive course on the spread call, you're going to be very happy with it cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull c-u-l-l one of the best moves in card magic if you know the cull you can do miracles with it and a very versatile move so check it out right uh so it was day i like to do these reviews after day one and then you've got a choice of going back to watch to, to get on day two or you've with all these things as always you've got them forever once you get it it's not like the showtime when vanishing do their showtime you only get that for a week and that's all about the live experience with these ones the master class you can watch them live but you you do have them in your account forever so just so you know that some people have got a bit confused and asked me questions around that um so daniel garcia really always been really interested in since i saw him lectured at, a, at an early session uh, in london and his stuff really grabbed me i loved that it was quick it was snappy it was imaginative and importantly it looked really magical genuinely magical i remember seeing a thing he did with a straw the his magnetism thing he did with credit cards which he does a version of here um he had an elastic band trick that was just really really strong and looked great and his card stuff was just brilliant and it's easy to forget because he came out with there was a time when he just came out with so much stuff that it was and it was all good it was all the daniel garcia project dvds were great i loved them but there was so much of it and it and, and again over years of past he's been working with david blaine you forget kind of that the the close-up magic that he does the card stuff and all that stuff is really strong because he's known for being this sort of thinker and this creative and that does go into his work. You know, when someone says, oh, we're doing card stuff today, part of me kind of goes, oh, more card stuff. You know, I love it. But, but then when you see it, you go, no, it's different. He, he did, I'm not going to go through everything he did, but the main things were this, this um, top change, but it's, it's based on a top change, but it's something you can burn. You can look at it. It's, it's kind of a retention vanish feel to it as well, the way it works. And when you see it, it's just... The minute I saw it, I went, oh, we're in now. That, that was brilliant. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that know about it, but I hadn't seen it. And it was just so, so clever. And one of those things, like a lot of his stuff, that made me go, why aren't we all doing this? Why isn't that the thing we're all doing? Because I thought, well, maybe it's angles. And then he says, no, you can do it from this angle. And he shows you from different angles. And it just, it's so good. Then you can use the, the same move for a card vanish. Um, and it's just an, a really versatile move. And again, it reminded me of how how visual is stuff in and by visual I know we say it a lot but visual means you can look at it and it looks like some magic is happening as you're staring at it it's it's that kind of thing with non-gaff you know there's no gaffs going on here uh and then he went on to this this box steal you know he said where, where you put a sign card into a box very clearly goes in and then you know very soon afterwards it's in the middle of the deck in your hands and and they've heard the the box in the, the card in the box and again, loads of reasons why you do this and loads of routines based on this. One of the best being this portal routine. And again, you know, it, it, it reminded me of Paul Harris's bizarre twist just of how you hold the cards. But you've got two cards and jokers and you've, you've someone signed the card or whatever. And all of a sudden you do that with the jokers and they kind of separate and you, you put your hand in and you pull out a card that's face down. Uh, the, the, so it's, that's... that's uh, perpendicular to these cards so it just looks like it appears from nowhere and again it's like this is really good stuff and it was all like that there was nothing that felt like another standard version to do this it was he he thinks about magic in a very special way and that's obviously why he is working with David Blaine he's got that that way of thinking and everything on this was stuff that I saw and just thought well, I really want to do that and again, I really want to do that. And I can imagine myself doing it in a cafe or the pub or somewhere where it's just like shows a quick trick. And what I really liked as well is that he said, you know, he feels that there is a sort of we do really cool stuff. 
you know, so why don't we do it? If someone asks us to do a trick, he would say yes, usually. And that, I like that because I'm so used to people saying, no, you don't do it, it's my job and all this. And I'm kind of, yeah, it's great. We can do cool stuff or dope stuff, how he says quite often, because um, he's down with the kids <laughs> like, in a way that I'm not. Um, but, you know, it, it, I really, really enjoyed it. The only thing, I suppose, if I was to say there's any flaws or faults in it, it started a bit shaky, uh, literally, because there was kind of the, the laptop whatever he was using was kind of wobbling about a bit and he was in his kitchen and it was all very kind of basic and it was a bit distracting at the beginning I thought is that going to be a bit distracting because there's kind of shadows on the walls going off and all that um, and he was a bit rambly he said he felt really out of his comfort zone doing that with a computer he clearly isn't someone that's had to do loads of virtual shows so it felt really weird for him and you could see that and I did worry at one point, I said, is he, is he going to get into this? It was a bit rambling and it kind of took a while to get going. And he was very aware of that. At the end, he was like, it did feel a bit rushed. And he said, I'm sorry I had to rush. But, but the, the way these things work, there's a the Q&A afterwards. And then you can go back and watch it, obviously. And because he's aware of that, obviously next week it'll be a bit more concise. So it wasn't a major problem, but it just just something um, something to mention. But uh, yeah, really, really liked it. So I would highly recommend it. And he set everybody an assignment. He's going to talk about his creativity. And next week is non-card stuff. Obviously, by the time you watch this routine, that might have been on. But again, you can you can go back and watch this stuff. So do use the links below if you're interested. Highly recommended. Love Daniel Garcia's stuff. And it was good to see, uh, to be reminded of why I, I like his stuff. So uh, like I said, links below. Please like and subscribe. Check out cardmagiccourse.com. Free card magic, uh, free spread cull course, which you really, really like. It's it's extensive. It's not like a rubbish giveaway. Uh, cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull c u l l. Have a great one. Share it with your friends if you think they'll like it. it. Makes all the difference. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.